Hi, my name is Nikki McGowan. I'm founder, creator, and owner of Red Cheetah Yoga. Thank you for taking our first ever recorded video yoga class, recorded specifically for Soul Academy. So to begin, yogi is find your place in child's pose. Big toes touch, knees wide, extend your arms long over your mat, and spread your fingers. Take a big breath in through your nose, loud breath out through your nose, and settle into your breath. Presence yourself to the sensation of your physical body. Presence yourself to the texture of your yoga mat. Take a loud breath in, loud breath out. And on your next inhale, rise up onto all fours. Hands down under your shoulders, knees under your hips, and move through cat cows. Inhale, arch your back, gaze to the sky. Exhale, round belly to spine, chin to chest. Inhale, arch your back, look up. And exhale, round. Move through this a few more rounds, slowly as you breathe, and present yourself to grounding through all four paws. Fingers spread, palms of your hands and both knees root down. And every breath, you arch a little bit deeper and you round a little bit deeper. One more. Big arch, big round, and then pause in neutral spine. Whatever that feels like for you. On your next inhale, sweep your right arm up, gaze to your right thumb. Twist through your thoracic spine, and then weave your right arm under your left armpit. Rest on your shoulder and the side of your head. Pause here, or extend your left arm up, and drop your left hand behind your low back. This is an option. You don't have to do it. In fact, you don't have to do any of the variations that call out in my class. In your class. Your greatest teacher is your physical body. It's your inner being of light. Loud breath in, lengthen both sideways. And loud breath out, soften. And draw your left shoulder back a little bit more. A few more degrees of rotation through middle and upper spine. On your next inhale, left hand down. Go back to all fours. Do a few more rounds of cat cows. Open up your spine. Open up the anterior side of your spine. Posture your side of your spine. Spine health, spine flexibility is what really determines our freedom of movement in all ranges of motion, in all functionalities of movement. Do one more round of cat cows. And then pause in neutral spine and right into left side, thread the needle. Sweep your left arm up as high as you can, twist. And then weave your long left arm under your right armpit. Let the weight of your head drop to your mat. Option to keep your right hand down or reach up and drop your hand back. You don't have to do the same variation on one side that you do on the other side. If you look at Izzy, his shoulders are working towards stacking on top of one another really well. And he eases into a deeper range. Never forcing, never straining. Take a loud breath in. As you exhale, breathe and ease a little bit deeper into the rotation. Right hand to your mat, left hand to your mat, downward facing dog. Spread your fingers. Press all four paws to the earth. Feet are hips width apart. Hands, shoulder width apart are a little bit longer. And if you notice, Tony's heels are touching your mat, his mat. If your heels are touching your mat too, just add a few more inches of space between your hands and feet. Let it spread all ten toes. Round through your foundation. Take one big breath in. Loud breath out. Tiny baby steps. Walk your feet to your hands. Feet slightly wider than your hips. Interlace your fingers at your low back. And let the weight of your fist drop over your head. Add a tiny micro bend to your knees until your belly rests on your thighs. 
Gently shift your weight out of your heels into the balls of your feet and pause right before your heels lift off of your yoga mat. Let the weight of your head drop. Notice how Izzy dropped his head so nice so that all the wrinkles come out of the back of his neck. Scapulas, those are your shoulder blades, hug to your midline. Let the weight of your fist drop as far as it can comfortably go. One more big inhale. Loudest exhale, ease deeper. Drop your hands to your mat. Walk your feet together, big toes touch. Ground through both feet and roll up. A single breath per vertebrae, your head comes up last. Reach both hands up, look up to the space between your hands. Ground through your heels, take an easy back bend, lengthen through your upper back. And as you exhale, dive, forward fold, connect your belly to your thighs. Inhale, step your right foot back, long low lunge and pause. You're gonna take as long of a lunge as you can. Yeah, that's it. See how this one is moving his foot forward? You want your knee stacked over your ankle, vertical shin. Your back leg is almost totally straight with all five toenails pressing to your mat. Lift your chest up a little bit and claw your fingers Scapulas retract back to the back of your body. Neutral position with your head. From here, tuck your right toes, set your left leg back, move into high plank, hollow out your belly. Now caterpillar, you're gonna lower easy, knees, chest, chin, keep your hips up. Cobra, drop your hips, sweep your heart up and point your toes. Downward facing dog. Press your heels down to the earth. Shift your gaze to the space between your feet. One single breath in, one noisy breath out. Step your right foot all the way up between your hands. If your foot doesn't make it all the way, just grab your ankle and give yourself some assist. Drop your left foot down, lift your chest, claw your fingers, and then your next exhale, step into a forward fold. Toes touch, nose to shins. Rise, mountain on your inhale, back bend a lot. Exhale, dive, forward fold. Inhale, step your left leg back, long low lunge, knee down, lift your chest. Hold your breath, plank position, belly to spine. Exhale, caterpillar, go down easy. Inhale, cobra, point your toes, drop your hips. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take one big breath in through your nose, one loud breath out through your nose. Left foot forward, longest lunge of your life, step. Step into a forward fold, right foot forward. Inhale, root to rise, reach up and go back. Exhale, dive, forward fold. Inhale, right foot goes back, knee down, lunge. Hold your breath, plank position, belly to spine. Exhale, caterpillar, lower with ease. Cobra, rise with grace. Down dog, drop your head. Pause and down dog. Spread your fingers so wide, the skin on your hands stretch. And spread your toes as wide as your fingers. Breathe in, lift your right leg high to the sky, bend your knee. Fan your toes wide, shoulders stay square to your mat. Drop your right shoulder down, twist through your middle and lower back. Move your right hip over your left hip. Option to stay here or I'll have Izzy a demo. A flip dog. Right foot lands off of his mat. Reach your right hand straight out in front of you. One loud inhale. One loud exhale. One breath, one move on flip. Right hand down. Right leg up. Move into standing split. Crawl your hands all the way back to your standing foot. Now gaze to a single point on your foot, your ankle, or your leg. Single point of focus with your eyes equals single point of focus with your brain. Take your right hand, grab your left ankle, and pull yourself really deep. If this causes a lot of sensation in your body, go with it. Other ankle, Tony. Standing ankle, you don't have to opposite hand to your foot. Or both hands. Option to grab your ankle with both hands. Increase the challenge of your balance.
strengthen your ankle and low leg muscles and ligaments. Big breath in. Use the strength of your arms. Pull yourself deeper. Breathe out. Good work. Crawl your hands forward. Go back to your long low lunge. Kick your right leg high and then step your foot forward. Foot steps between your hands. Both hands to your front knee. Lift your chest. Square your hips. Reach both arms up. Look to the space between your hands. And send your right knee driving forward. Take a back bend as far as you can comfortably go. Hollow out your belly. Knit your low ribs in. Lengthen your upper back. And as you exhale, hands to heart center. Take a twist. Left tricep to your right thigh. Split your arms. Option to lift your back knee. You can tuck your toes like Tony's doing. That's one option. It's a little easier option, a little tougher option. A Tony demo. Drop your back knee, Tony. Plant the top of your foot down and then lift your knee. This is a great ankle stretch. Makes it a little more challenging. There's no right, there's no wrong. It's only what feels great in your body now. Loud inhale. Twist a little more. Exhale. Good work. Drop your back knee gently onto your mat. Move your hands to the instep of your foot, lizard. Now on lizard, tuck your back toes under, lift your knee up off of your mat. You're going to actively push your heel back to the back wall. It'll shift your whole body back two to three inches, and then drop your knee down again, and point your toes. The top of your back foot rests on your mat. Hug your right knee in toward your shoulder, and now option to drop one or both elbows down onto your mat. Lengthen your upper back. Exhale, work on dropping your torso as close to the earth as you can. If this seems impossible to you, like both of these guys in my class right now, they're really, really flexible. They practice yoga nearly every day. And if you're not at this level, that's great. That's fine. You practice to you. One more inhale. Loudest exhale. Press up onto your hands. Point your right toes out to the right at 2 o'clock. Right hand to your knee. Push your knee out wide. Press and twist. Press until you roll to the pinky toe edge side of your right foot. Expose the sole of your foot completely. And now option to bring your right hand to your tailbone. Press your hips down. Lift your chest up and twist at the same time. This hits right into your left hip flexor. If this is enough for you or you need a little bit more challenge, bend your back knee, reach your right hand back, put your foot in your hand. This is called galaxy pose. Steps deeper into this pose, be dropping down onto your left elbow is an option. Adding a bend to your right elbow is an option. And yeah, if it's a little too deep in one variation, don't take it, but try it anyway. You never know until you try. One more big breath in, and as you breathe out, release your back foot. Go back into your basic lunge. Walk your right foot back to the middle of your mat. Drop your left knee down. Stay in your lunge, guys. There you go. Walk your foot back to the center of your mat. Half split or full split is also an option. Half split, I'll have Tony demo. Back thigh bone is vertical. Shift your hips back a little bit more. Good. Front leg totally straight. Quad to step hugs in. Toes flex towards your shins. Inhale, lengthen your upper back. Take the roundness out of your spine. And as you exhale, fold. Bring your belly to your thigh. One breath in. Flat upper back. Breathe out. Fold tighter. Good. One more inhale. Fold the most as you exhale. Breathe in, shift forward to your low lunge, move right into half pigeon. Right foot to the left edge of your mat. Now, with every single pose in yoga, there's a choice. First choice is whether to try it or not, and you're going to try it. Second choice for pigeon is where you need your foot to be. Is these hips are very open, so his shin is vertical, excuse me, parallel to the top edge of his yoga mat. Both of these guys are actually very open in their hips. So this is going to demonstrate what it'll look like if your hips are a little tighter. You bring your heel as close to your groin as you need. From here, select whatever angle you need for your hip and your shin. Fold over your front leg. Forehead to 
of the earth. Crawl your hands forward, surrender to gravity, and take five loud breaths. Intentional breathing equals intentional way of being. Where you are right now in your yoga practice and in your physical body is exactly where you are meant to be. Biggest breath in, loudest breath out, slow motion, sit up. You're gonna swing your left leg around and forward, double pigeon. Stack your shins, flex your toes towards your shins. Option to press the palms of your hands into the balls of your feet to flex your toes and activate your tibialis anterior muscle. Or an option to take a shoulder bind. Arm, right arm up and over, left arm around the back. You guys don't need to do that again. That'd be great. There's no right, there's no wrong. If you know another variation that feels great in your body, take that too. Both of you, exhale, forward fold. Loud breath in, lengthen your upper back. And breathe out, you soften, ease deeper. I'm gonna adjust Tony's legs a little bit with his shins. Shins should be stacked on top of one another. In double pigeon, which is the pose you're in right now, your shins should be parallel to the top edge of your mat. One more big inhale. Loudest exhale. Inhale, sit up. Release your bind if you have it. Extend both legs forward for a seated forward fold. Flex your toes, reach up, lengthen your upper back, and dive into your deepest fold of your life. Hands land wherever you have natural access. It doesn't make you a great yogi or a horrible yogi if you can or can't touch your feet. The object of a forward fold is to lengthen your upper back, gaze Pass your big toes and then fold from your hips. Get your belly and your thighs to connect. Breathe in, lengthen your upper back. Breathe out, fold a little tighter. One more big breath in. Loudest breath out. Inhale, sit up. Bend your knees, cross your feet at your ankles. Hands go forward. And now shift onto your hands, step, step to high plank. And move into caterpillar. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog as if nothing ever happened. Reconnect to all four quads. Hug skin to muscle to bone. And let all the work you just did land bone deep. One more single inhale. One more noisy exhale. Toe stretch. Walk your feet together at the back of your mat. Big toes touch. Knees touch. Lift and spread all 10 toes. Keep all 10 toes connected to your yoga mat. Drop down into your knees. Keep all 10 toes connected to your yoga mat. Walk your hips back. Sit on your heels. Weight rocks back onto your heels. If you feel like your toes are going to break off, reach all 10 fingers to the sky. Yeah, my students in the video might make some faces. You're allowed to make faces too. Palms together, thumbs connect to your third eye center. That's the space between your eyebrows, so go there. Focus there. The space between your eyebrows is soft and easy. If it's contracted in any way, ask yourself why. Relax the space between your eyebrows, relax your jaw. Wherever it is you choose to focus is the reality you choose to create. Weight rock back, down onto your heels. One more breath in and breathe out. Slow motion, move into down dog. The sense of exaggerating here. Lengthen out the backs of your knees. You should find that your heels get a little closer to your mat. One more noisy breath in. Noisy breath out. Take the counter pose. Walk your feet together. The same exact pose. This time, 
When you drop down onto your knees, you're going to straighten your ankles. You're going to plant all ten of your toenails flat on your mat. So come back down on your knees, flatten your feet, shift your weight back, sit on your heels. I'm going to join you guys with this one because I like it. Grab your right knee with your hand and lift up, stretch your shin, your tibialis anterior. One inhale. Exhale, right shin down, left shin up. Shoulders square to the front edge of your mat. Big breath in. As you breathe out gently, place your left shin down, move back into your down dog. Every time you step onto your yoga mat, it is an opportunity to challenge yourself. It's an opportunity to get curious about what is occurring in your physical body. One more breath in. Noisy breath out. Take tiny baby steps. Walk your feet to your hands. And take your peace fingers. Wrap your peace fingers around your big toes. Feet slightly wider than your hips. Bend your elbows a lot. Elbows bend to 90 degrees. Pull yourself tight. Belly to thighs. One more big breath in. Hold the most breathe out. Release your toes. Walk your feet together with a flat back. Rise to stand. Reach high and back bend a lot. Stand tall, right side dancer pose. Right hand to your right foot. Turn your palm out to the right. Grab the big toe side of your foot. Soften your standing knee to ground through your standing foot. If you wiggle, giggle, fall lap. Those are the only rules I have in my yoga class, whether it's in my actual physical class or on video. Ground four corners of your standing foot to earth. Big toe ball roots, pinky toe ball roots, inner and outer edge of your heel. Now if you notice Izzy's turning out, you both guys are turning out a little bit, so your work here is to drop your right hip, press the crown of your head up to the sky, and shift your focal point to the distant horizon. Take one more big breath in, and breathe out as many breaths as it takes to move into tree pose. Same side, tree pose. Right foot to your left inner thigh, root to center. Reach both hands up, look up. Be here for three, one. If you wiggle, giggle, if you fall, laugh. Two. You can laugh anyway, you don't even have to fall out. Three, good work. Right foot down, left foot up, and yoga in your transition, go right to left side dancer. Square your collarbones to the front edge of your yoga mat. Kick and press. Kick and press. Root down to rise up. Gaze to the distant horizon. Always look in the direction you choose to go. That's true in your yoga practice, that's true in your life, especially true in your practice of goal setting. Take one more inhale, and as you exhale, and as many breaths as you need, move to tree pose. Tree pose. Your roots grow as deep as your branches grow high. So be curious. What do you need to add in or take out for a successful tree? Loudest, exhale. Both feet down, dive, forward fold, nose to shins. Inhale, step your left leg back, long low lunge, back leg almost totally straight. Lift your chest, claw your fingers. Hold your breath, step two, high plank, hollow up your belly, hold your quads in. Knees, chest, chin, go down easy. Inhale, drop your hips, lift your chest, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog and paw. Loud breath in. Noisy breath out. Float your left leg up high, tripod dog. Take your leg up as high as you can. Rotate through your lower and middle back and your upper back nice and straight. And now bend your knee, heel to your glute, and present yourself to where your left knee is pointing, pointed to the ceiling. Drop your knee for a second, Izzy. 
This can be a really common mistake that people make. Heel to glutes, knee pointing to the ground. Open up your hips, point your knee to the sky, and option to take flip dog. Drop your left foot all the way down, pivot on your right, so all 10 toes face your back wall. Hug your scapulas to your midline to shine your heart forward. And as you breathe out, use your breath, left hand down, left leg up, tripod dog. Move right into standing split. Grab your ankle with one or both hands. Trust your standing foot, your whole standing foot to hold yourself up and grab your ankle. Single pointed focus with your eyes, equals single pointed focus with your brain. Give up anything right now that you don't need. Give up anything right now that is not serving you to help you stay up in this pose. Big breath in. Ease deeper as you breathe out. Crawl your hands forward, tripod dog. Then step your left foot all the way through between your hands, longest low lunge of your life. Reach your arms up, back bend. Drop your back knee down. Hips drive to the earth. Reach all 10 fingers to the back wall. One more inhale. And exhale, hands to heart center for a twist. Rinse out your spine. Press your right arm down into your left thigh a lot. Create space between your belly and thigh. Option to lift your back knee with either tucked toes or pointed toes or keep your knee down. Whatever feels right on this side is what you must do. Whatever empowers you the most is what you must do. And some yoga practices are meant to be easy and some yoga practices are meant to be really, really challenging. That choice is up to you. Take one more breath in. And as you breathe out, hands down on the instep of your front foot. Move into lizard. You can walk your left foot to the left to create more space if you need it. Tuck your right toes under. Lift your knee high off your mat. You can use you again, Tony. Good. Push your heel back to rock your weight back and then knee down. Point your right toes and surrender to gravity. The weight of your head drop. Energetically hug your left knee to your left shoulder. One more biggest inhale. Loudest exhale. Press up into your hands. Hip opener, left hand to your left knee. Press and twist. Press and twist. And a lot of these two guys are doing two different variations. One is on, is on the elbow, one is on his hand. So we'll listening to your body, what it needs. Option to bring your left hand back to meet your right foot or hand to your tailbone, whatever feels best on this side. You have five long, slow breaths. In through your nose, out through your nose. Whatever it is you need to do, Make this great in your body. Three more. One. Open up the hip more. Tony, that's it. Two. And three. Good work, guys. Move into half or full split. You at home. Move into half or full split. Open up your hamstring. Lengthen the back of your knee. Your knee was just back for a really long time, which should be a really sweet relief on your front knee joint. Energetically flex your left toes to your shins. Take all the roundness out of your upper back. Now that's it. And then hinge from your hip crease. Work on getting your belly and your thigh to connect. Keep your gaze beyond your toes. One more breath in. Flex your toes a little bit more. Breathe out, hold the tightest. Inhale, shift forward into your low lunge, move right into half pigeon. Left foot to the right edge of your mat, knee down. Heel is as close to your hip as you need, or as close to the parallel the front edge of your mat as you need. And then crawl forward, fold hand over hand. Be mindful of both side waists as you dive forward. Oh. 
pose and half pigeon. Your work is getting your right hip to drive down to the ground. Be mindful of your back leg, kneecap, and all five of your right toes should be connected to your mat. And if you need a little more assistance under your left hip, you can always take a yoga block and wedge it under your left hip to keep your hips nice and level. It would go right underneath your hamstring or your glute, whatever feels best in your body. Take one more inhale. Loudest exhale. Slow motion, walk your hands backwards to sit up. Swing your back leg around and forward, stack your shins, double pigeon. If one hip is way more open than your other hip, congratulations. That just means you're human. Flex your toes. Ankle bone gets past your quadricep muscle. So now both of these guys, yeah, stack your knees and your ankles. Put your foot this way a little bit more, Tony, top foot. Yeah, that's it. Good. Now, hands either. How's that? Ooh, that feels so much better, right? Hands. To the balls of your feet or the left arm over, right arm around and back to take your bind. If you can't quite reach your bind, you can always use a yoga strap or a towel. The choice is yours. And again, you don't have to do the same variation on this side as you did on the other side. Tony's opting out for the shoulder opener, even though he did it on the, on the other side. This variation is just more powerful for him on this side. Three breaths. Lengthen the back of your neck, that's it. Two more breaths. Biggest inhale. Loudest exhale. Slow motion, sit up. You're gonna cross your legs, plant your feet. With bent knees. You're gonna flex your toes toward your shins, cross your hands at your wrists, and grab the outsides of your feet. Knees inside your arms. Yeah, that's it. Keep a nice grip on your feet, one foot at a time, walk forward. One foot at a time, walk forward as far as you can go. If you can get your legs straight, great. Lift your chest and add a bend to your elbows, gaze two feet beyond your pretty little toes. Lengthen your upper back. I'm sure you guys have beautiful toes. Exhale, bend your elbows a little more. Press your sit bones, the two round bony points in your hips, to the back edge of your yoga mat. Inhale, lengthen your upper back. Exhale, bend your elbows more. Go, go your deepest. One more big breath in. Loudest breath out. Good work. Sit up. Bend your knees 90 degrees, plant your feet, and now lay back on your back. Move right into bridge, hands down on either side of your body. Lift your hips up high and do whatever it is you need to do to get complete in your bridge. You can keep your hands down on your mat like Tony has, or you can interlace your fingers under your hips like Izzy has. Either way, work your scapulas under your ribcage. Chest all the way to your chin but lift your chin away from your chest. Give up having to rely on muscular energy to complete a back bend. Rely on your thigh bones grounding into the earth. If you need to do a little squeeze with your glute muscles or the muscles of your booty to lift your hips up really high in order to relax them, do that. Squeeze your glutes one more time, lift your hips up as high as you can. Keep your hips at their highest point, and then relax your glutes. It's okay if your hips drop a few inches. Transition your attention to thigh bones, and with a soft, soft muscles under your lower back, you'll lift your hips higher. One more inhale. Loudest exhale. Plant your hands flat on either side of your body, and roll out a single breath per vertebrae. Scoop your tail. Let your spine rest for a moment with your feet down on your mat. One breath in, one breath out. 
option for another bridge or full wheel. Hands over your shoulders for full wheel. And take your pose either to all four of your paws or all four paws plus the crown of your head. The work is in your limbs. Don't let the, the weight of your body land on your head if you choose to put your head on your mat. Ground through your legs, open up thoracic spine, press your heart to the back wall. One more breath in. And breathe out slow motion, come out of your pose, tuck your chin, scoop your tail, resting butterfly pose, soles of your feet together, knees wide, and one hand to your heart, one hand to your belly, close your eyes. Surrender to breath. Presence yourself your breath. Presence yourself to the spaces between your breath. Presence yourself to your thoughts. To the spaces between your thoughts. Inhale, lie in your back, 
extend your feet forward, reach your arms overhead, get long, full body stretch. Hug your left knee into your chest, take a knee down, twist to the other side. Give up the need to try hard. Conscious decision to try it easy. One more big inhale. And as you exhale, lie flat on your back, Shavasana. Feet wide, hands wide, palms face the sky in universal receiving position. One breath in through your nose. Open your mouth, sigh out really loud. Soak up your work. Give your transformation space to land, bone deep. Thank you so much. Have a great day.